Another company involved in illegal towing and impounding operations along South Superhighway in Makati has been apprehended. Following this, the MMDA and Metro Manila Bayers have coordinated to strengthen guidelines on towing and impounding operations. At a recent Metro Manila Council meeting, the MMD and Metro Manila mayors have reached a consensus on how to address the issue of illegal towing and impounding operations. MMDA General Manager Jojo Garcia will initially come up with a master list of all towing service operators accredited by the MMDA and Metro Manila local government units. In addition to this, all towing service operators in the National Capital Region shall also be accredited by the Land Transportation, Franchising and Regulatory Board. The LTFRB shall also issue a certification of roadworthiness to towing service vehicles that will be allowed to operate. We've been very vigilant lately you know, on this uh, illegal towing services that's plying the route of uh, Osmeña Highway and others. You know. uh, we've received so many complaints, uh, not only us, other agencies also. So the MMDA, through the help of uh, HPG and LTFRB, we conducted surveillances uh, in intelligence gathering. According to MMDA policies, all towing services accredited by the MMDA should be accompanied by agency personnel. However, this is not observed in LGU-accredited towing service vehicles. The thing is, what we do in MMDA is that our accredited tow trucks are properly marked. So you will have the towing and impounding group logo, uh, you will have the company name, you will have the tow truck number, you will have the fines and penalties that you will be paying, you, you will have the hotline numbers and uh, the crew are in uniform and they have their IDs with them. Because the MMDA will definitely need more space to accommodate the increasing number of impounded vehicles, several mayors have offered spaces in their localities to serve as impounding sites.